Hey, Bethany Skrupa here, author of Total Stewardship, Body, Mind, and Spirit. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make homemade kombucha using my secret shortcut. The first thing that you're going to need to make your own kombucha is a scoby and starter, which you can either purchase or get from a friend who brews. And since I already have a batch of kombucha ready to go, I'm going to get my scoby and starter right from this previously made batch. So the first thing that you need to do is just pour off two cups of starter. You'll set this aside. You'll need this for your next batch. Then pour the finished kombucha into whatever bottles you're going to use. And it will fizz up a little bit. So be careful not to overfill your bottles. And I have about a gallon here minus the two cups of starter. Then after you pour this off, it's ready to drink. You can also, if you choose, do a second ferment by adding about a quarter cup of fresh or frozen, frozen fruit to the bottle and then cap it, just burp it a couple of times a day and leave it for one to three days and you'll have a beautiful second ferment. So we can put the starter right back in here over the SCOBY. And that's all set. I'm going to cover it back up for now. Now the shortcut is to make a sweetened tea concentrate. Most recipes that you see for making homemade kombucha tell you to brew a gallon of tea. But it's much easier if you put your sugar, which I use a cup, I used to use a cup and a half, and I've cut down to a cup, and it still works very well. A cup of organic sugar, and just pour four cups of boiling water over that. And stir for a few seconds until it is dissolved, which happens very fast because the water is boiling. Once it's dissolved, all you do is set your tea bags in, and I use, I usually use 10 uh, green tea bags and two black tea bags and I always use organic tea. Then all that's left to do is leave this on the counter for a few hours until it's down to room temperature. It has to be 85 degrees or below so that it doesn't damage your SCOBY. Once it's cooled, I just lift out the tea bags and squeeze them out. Make sure your hands are clean. Then you just pour the sweet tea concentrate into your gallon kombucha jar, tap it off with filtered water, wait 10 days and you're ready to do the process again. Have fun making your own secret shortcut homemade kombucha. See you next time. Bye.